Hello, this is Will, and welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is job search hacks. I'm going to give you guys a couple of different things that you can do that will hopefully make your job search a little bit easier. And I might give you a couple more tips on top of that. Number one, let's talk about social media. Social media is a hot topic. Everybody feels like they should be able to say what they want or do what they want on social media, and I completely understand that. So in that situation, you should have two different social media pages. One that has your actual name, professional picture, and that's the one that you give employers. It has your actual name on it. If you want to have another social media page, that's absolutely fine for political reasons, um, whatever you want to do, but that should be like a nickname or something that people cannot search, if at all possible. Now, number two, this one is extremely important because people will miss out on this one all the time. Please have a separate email just for applying for positions. The reason is, if your email is anything like mine, you'll get 20, 50, 70 emails a day. You might miss a job opportunity if you're going through other emails and spam emails and things like that. Now, I'm not saying you won't get spam emails in your professional email address, but having a professional email address can literally save you from looking through other emails because 90% of those emails will be about positions. Number three, and this is what I didn't think I would ever have to say, but please set up a LinkedIn if you're looking for a position. When you set up your LinkedIn, please have your LinkedIn match your resume. They should be, they should have the exact same things. Take your resume, copy and paste it and put it into LinkedIn. Another thing, put in a professional picture and look up when you have everything set up. What I want you to do is look up recruiters who recruit for whatever you're in. If you're a nurse, recruiters who recruit for nurses or the specific type of nurse you are. Let me say that again. Look up recruiters who recruit for nurses. That will help you out drastically because you're doing my job. As a recruiter, I'm looking for somebody. If I go into my inbox and say, hey, this person's looking for work, this actually helps me out. The last tip I'm going to give you is something that's a little bit more controversial, but there are certain people who understand. Never stop interviewing for jobs. Never stop looking to see what's out there. Even if you have a job, unless you're there five, 10 years and you feel secure, do not stop interviewing. Do not stop having your resume out there. Do not stop updating your resume. Do not stop updating your LinkedIn. Now, you might not be as aggressive as searching for jobs, but just make sure everything is updated and people will reach out to you. The one thing that drives me nuts as a recruiter is people want to get hired like yesterday. And I completely understand that with everything that happened with COVID and things of that and the way the job market just was destroyed last year. I completely understand that. But if you have been written up and you're on your second write-up and you your third write-up, you know you can be let go, why are you not actively searching for other work? The writing's already on the wall. I'm not saying you will be fired immediately, but if you have two write-ups, you're probably on your way out. Let's just be completely honest. So please... At this point, what I need you to do is always keep your LinkedIn updated, always keep your resume updated and ready to be able to look for positions. Have a professional social media page because employers will look at your social media and have email address that specifically. That's the only thing it's for is for jobs. That's on, You put that on your resume, you put that on your LinkedIn, you put that on your professional social media. And you will be, this will definitely help you in the long run while you're looking for work. It's a couple things that can just help you get a little bit more organized that can help you get to your goal. As always, this is Will. Uh, thank you for coming to my channel again. Uh, please leave any comments you have underneath. Please check me out on all social media, FYPM underscore staffing. And I'll see you next time.